Michelle, Grateful Creations. Well, I'm gonna mix up a small batch of pearl mix with a new recipe. And I was gonna do it off camera and I thought, why not do it on camera? So this is a 16 ounce cup I get from the, the dollar store. They're great. I ended up ordering a case of them because <laughs> I use them so often. So I'm gonna mix up half Meaden acrylic paint you can get this on Amazon. I'll put a link in the description. And then half of this bad boy. And we know, because I have a whole ca two cases of this. I've got to figure it out. So this is the 2021, which is the bad boy. So I'm going to mix up two ounces of this. Oh, there it is. Okay, there is a two ounce line. Okay, not quite. I always tap, yeah, I think it is right. It's right on, well, just a little tiny bit more. You know what, let's not. Let's just do the, the next two ounces of meaden. And this is a little thicker, so we'll see. I mean, I'm gonna try it out. And if it doesn't work, then I'll tweak it. So I just have to get this right because I'm, I refuse to send it back. I'm not gonna let this, I'm not gonna let this beat me. <laughs> I'm going to, I will prevail. Okay, so that's four ounces of paint, guys, okay? Now, I'm only gonna put a teaspoon, oh, the Lord. Um, you can always add more. It's harder to take it out. So I'm only gonna put a teaspoon of the DecoArt Satin Enamel. I use these guys from the, oh God, I think that's 50 cents or something, 58 cents. And they are just a lifesaver to get these things open sometimes. Okay, there we go. Oh yeah, it was really on there good. Look at all that gunk, see? Ugh, no wonder it wouldn't open. I'll take that off another time, okay to this. So one teaspoon. Dang it. Let me stir this up first. Okay, stir it up. One teaspoon. Let that sit there for a minute. And then we're gonna add our other additives. Amsterdam pouring medium. Let's try this. I don't know if, I don't think pouring mediums you have to shake or stir. So I'm gonna put it right in here. Let's go two teaspoons. Okay, that looks good. Two teaspoons. I'm going to try and eliminate both the GAC and the Liquitex pouring medium and just try and use this. We'll see how that works out. Okay, so now we have, we only have four ounces of paint in there. I'm going to give this a stir. And I'm going to put eight ounces of Floetrol in here. This is already, um, I've already strained this flow trial just last night. So we're at four, eight, that'll be 12. Where is the 12 mark? There is the 12 mark. Okay. And we're going to mix that up. And then we put our water in. And then we'll see. <laughs> we'll do a couple of test tiles. I'm gonna let it sit for a minute or two after um, I get it to the right consistency. And then, I don't like this stir stick. There we go. Okay. 
think we're going to add, well, I'm going to just go a little bit at a time until we get to the right consistency. No, I didn't. This will probably take us up to uh, 14 or 16 ounces. So I usually put four, at least four ounces. So we were at 12. That'll be four ounces. That'll be 14. In the um, double batch, I usually put six to seven, six to eight ounces of water in. But since the maiden paint is thicker, I might have to put more. So that's what we do. Just stir, add water, stir, and then add more water, and then pull it up. It's getting close. You can sometimes feel it, but this is pretty heavy still. It's not like heavy cream is a little bit thinner than this. And once you guys start mixing up your own, you'll probably be able to figure out, oh, see now it's getting really close. Another couple of squirts of water and we should be good. I'll bet you it's 14. It sure the, the heck is. Wow, I'm good. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> yeah, right. One more squirt, bring it right up to 14. So that was four ounces of water. And then I'm gonna be anxious to try this. I'm gonna let it sit a minute. I'll be back. Sometimes it gets a little bit thicker as it sits too. So we'll try it in just a few minutes. I'll be so, back. This is how I do my experiments. <laughs> and uh, I think this one's the winner. Um, this one is close. I think somewhere in between these two. So basically that's a thicker mix. This is, I put a little bit more water in it, but this has the right amount of deco art, I believe, and artist loft. And I learned how to do a new technique while I was doing this. Isn't that cool? Very cool. Little feathers. Anyhow, um, I will redo this mixture by what I have surmised as this um, this recipe and I have to it won't all fit in a 16 ounce container the way I have listed it here so I'm trying to figure out how to put it in a 16 ounce container oh don't don't sweat it Michelle my god all right um, this is uh, experiment night and um, I will do a painting with this one and then we'll see on a, a test canvas. All right, guys, um, just wanted to show you a few things here. This, These are the recipes I came up with, but as you can see, they're still kind of funky pearls. So what I did to this, these two recipes, and you can do this to any recipe you have, um, I added one pump full, um, on a, I added one pump of Meaden acrylic white paint to this to this 16 ounce container and it toned it down. Same thing here, it toned it down. And I have like better formed cells. So, um, I've got it. Yeah, I just have to add one more pump <laughs> to this recipe and it's golden. So, um, and yeah, I'm really happy with these two. 
This one is with um, Amsterdam pouring medium, and this one is with Liquitex pouring, pouring medium. So there, that's the difference between these two. Um, all right, so I'm gonna get down on the canvas and uh, hopefully make some magic. Talk to you in a few. Okay, guys, it's Michelle, I'm back. I am going to work on this uh, 16 by 20 canvas. Um, this is the new cloud mix that I just made up. Oh, Jesus. I just spilled a bunch of it. <laughs> the lid wasn't on. I was just trying to um, mix it up a little bit. Oh, jeez. Anyhow, here's my colors. <laughs> this is Golden Fluid in tur Thalo Turquoise, which is uh, this one. And I didn't add any water to this whatsoever. I didn't have to. And I've got to do something about my lighting. It's not quite right. I also have Amsterdam in, I always, Permanent Violet Light. Permanent Violet Light. That's this one. So much for keeping my hands clean, right? <laughs> And then I also have Modern Masters in Venetian Blue. And this is an opaque color. All right, so I may as well get uh, busy pouring this down because I've already got some splashes on there. And yeah, this is the one with the Amsterdam pouring medium and let me just what I do when I just before I'm ready to pour I just do that and here we go all right that's a 16 ounce um container I'm not using the whole thing yet a little on the thicker side but I found that uh, I did a lot of experimenting I was paying med scientists tonight and um, this thicker mix tended to give me better cells or better um, pearls Bring it right off I did use some artist loft flow white to prep my canvas, my sides and my corners, and the tops. And here comes the flow. Just like, just like a, a river, a river of paint. Just getting my sides, Even though I have the artist loft on there, the white, I do want to put a little bit, oh, see, I didn't get it all. Um, I do want to put some of this on the side too. That The tacking, or the, the artist loft flow white on the sides was just to make it tacky to be able to hold my pearls um, on the sides. back some bubbles. What is that? So what you want to try and get as much of this off as you can. I see some coming down. There's like a little river right on this right side. You want to tilt it vertically. You do want to do that when you're um, tilting your colors as well. So once I get that little river off the bottom here, I'm going to tilt it back. Back. 
making sure I've got everything into the center. All right, that's good. I'm gonna pour my colors down. And I'm gonna use all of them. <laughs> How am I gonna do this now? There's like a smidge left. I love these two colors together. All right, so we're gonna get tilted. Oh, I see something already. Where is it? There it is. When you tilt is when you can see it for, for real. For real? I like when the colors blend. There's a big mountain of mountain. It's an avalanche of pink coming off the bottom here. Go right over the edge. And then back. And actually, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna look at this through the camera. like that a lot. Let me see if I got you. I'm never straight. I'm always crooked. There we go. Ooh, lovely. All right, I'm going to give it a torch. I'm going to have to head to bed pretty soon. I've got a doctor's appointment for this stupid ear. Ugh. All right. Got to take care of things, though. I noticed, I need to tilt this a little bit further this way. I'm not getting any cells over here, and I will now. There, pretty. I like, I like the formation of the cells so far. It's really cool. I'm not crazy about that. But we're just gonna leave it for now, see what happens to it. Because <laughs> it always changes, guys. You can't be satisfied with what you've got right in front of you right now. It changes so much and you have to have patience with it. Um, just leave things alone for a little bit and then, you know, just add your, um, whatever you wanna add. Um, but it's gonna, it does change so much. I really don't like those. <laughs> I might, I might scrape that off and put some white so, so I have some negative space. But um, I really like this. It's like I don't even can't even explain it. Okay, I'm gonna put you on time lapse.
This was interesting. So the pearls are really pretty. I hope they stay by morning. Um, I, when I was cooking up the recipe, I came up with a finger dips for some of these right here. I'm not a fan of the hue. Oh, geez, Louise, are you kidding me? Ah, ah, he's on me. Oh, geez. Anyhow, I gotta go pretty soon. <laughs> Um, yeah, I'll give you a quick fly over here. But yeah, when I was cooking it, that up, I ended up coming up with the finger dips. And yeah, I'm not a fan of the huge monster um, pearls like that one. But I'm not gonna touch that one at this point. Um, but these, yeah, these pearls look really nice. And this is the Artist Loft and Meaden recipe with the Amsterdam pouring medium. So in any case, I love how there's multicolored pearls, probably from the dips that helps. But um, I'm hoping this dries really well. We'll see in the morning and I gotta go to bed. <laughs> Anyhow, I'm kind of happy with this piece and I'll put the revised recipe in the description so take that artist loft flow white with soft body acrylic <laughs> 2020 2021 anyhow <laughs> please be safe and create please like share and subscribe and ciao for now